Hi, everyone. Uh, today, I'm here to talk about CMDB 360. So what is CMDB 360? CMDB 360 is a fully uh, revolution, evolution, and a completely overhaul of a functionality we used to call uh, multi-source CMDB. You know, it's got an entire new UI. It's got an entire new front end, back end capabilities. And again, is it something that is released through a ServiceNow store? It was released in November and there'll be a lot more to come uh, in terms of uh, what we're calling CMDB 360. So before we get into you know, demo, let me start with why in the world should anybody care, right? So first thing uh, to talk about is, you know, what is the customer problem we're trying to solve? And the problem is really about how does a customer go and figure out what's all the assets they have. And then when I say assets in the you know, notion of things they have in their enterprise, right? Not just for asset management, but you know, for security reasons, for ITSM reasons, you know, all the actual devices they have, servers they have, you know, virtual machines they have, containers they have, how do they know what they have? And how do they know they're secure when they don't actually have a notion of, do I have everything in my purview, right? So again, think about that challenge they have today with customers where they have lots of tools, lots of teams, lots of different things flying around, but they really want to understand, give me that single source of truth, right? And let me understand really what's going on. So, you know, to that degree, right, what we've done with kind of our, our ongoing CMDB strategy has really, it has turned it from a, hey, you know, we're relying on, you know, you know a source or two rather really bringing that more so as a federated CMDB, right? So we have our own native tool like ACC service mapping and discovery, right? That's going and finding things, you know, it's aware of, but then we're also aggregating a lot of these data from different sources, right? The net net is that you get this single source of truth federated from different, you know, uh, data points across the enterprise, right? So that's the foundation of sort of the multi-source CMDB. And we're gonna, you know, doing a lot more with that, right? So why do you care about it? Because again, without having that notion of being able to say, I have a 360 degree view of all my asset, right? How do you know you're actually, you know, have things that are secure, that are still managed, right? So that again, the key is like, you need that 360 view of all your CIs, your asset, before you can actually go and say like, hey, they're secure, right? So again, and going back to kind of this UI, right? So what we have done is really, you know, the CMDB 360 is really powered by some of the multi-source data that used to be there, right? But what we have done is really added a new UI, add a lot of functionality so that out of the box customers can sort of turn it on and get a lot of value without really a lot of hassle. That is really kind of what we're trying to get to. So instead of me just talking, let me just do a, a quick demo to show you uh, in action. Right, so if I go here, what you will see is that, you know, this is CMDB workspace. And within that, there's this uh, tab for CMDB 360. CMDB 360 still requires an ITOM visibility license. If, you, if a customer does not have ITOM visibility, then, you know, this would sort of, would not be visible, right? So here, if you look at the screen, there's a couple of things I wanna really quickly point out, right? Number one is that potential issues. What we're trying to do here is show you potential things that are that may be wrong from an operational perspective, from a data health perspective, without really doing anything. And this is just based on sort of data analysis we're doing in the background, right? And this report, as an example, is just showing you potential areas where you know their CI, uh, their sources, they're sort of missing in action, right? And that just means that you know is the maybe the 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 data source now is misconfigured. It could be like an agent has stopped reporting is broken. It could be a discovery range has been set incorrectly in, 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 you know, since it was set up for initially, right? So many reasons why, but again, this is telling to a customer that there is something wrong. Similarly, again, you know, when there's a data mismatch, it's just showing like, hey, there are multiple CIs that are supposedly the same thing, but they're reporting different data values, right? And again, those are telltale signs that something is wrong. And for any of these things, if you click on them, right, it actually gets you the actual data, what's wrong, right, what's different, right? So that's all available once you click in. Second point here is the discovery source. Discovery source really gives you a really good overview of how am I populating my CMDB. Here you're sort of seeing like, hey, there's five sources which are reporting, you know, 200,000 records or 200, 2,000 records in this case, right? 
but out of that, we're sort of reconciling that into 470 unique records, right? And that's really sort of the magic of our IRE engine, you know, working in practice. And again, for all these things, when you click on it, you can actually get to, okay, which CI is coming from what source? Uh, the, the third aspect here in this UI is really coverage. Uh, for all the coverage, it's sort of giving you a notion of, hey, do I have more than one sort, you know, source providing insight? And the key gotcha there is like, you know, as you have more sources, you have more confidence in the data, as well as if there's a problem with a, you know, one source, you can triangulate what to the, to the issue, right? But if you just had a single source, you're kind of running blind, right? Whatever that source reports is kind of your source of truth, right? And like I said, any, all these things are clickable. You can click it and understand which CIs are impacted. Uh, one thing to show before I go into uh, querying capability is that once you, uh, for all of these settings, right, again, there are things out of box that are set up, but customers can go in and tweak, you know, things like, hey, what data classes do they care about? What CI, you know, attributes do they care about, right? Those are all configurable within that, this setting. So the final thing we've done is like, you know, so really reimagine how do we do this querying in terms of getting really in, you know, informational insight, you know, from the data, right? Like I said, out of the box, these things already show up, but if customers want to maybe like drill in into particular questions they want to answer, right? This is the way to do it. Uh, so a couple of things to note is that there's really three options here. Number one option is really, I want to just really look at my 360 data, understand what's reporting what, right? And just basically explore, you want to choose this option. The last option here to the right is really when I want to understand you know, show me anytime there's really a data mismatch or I want to understand, hey, is it reporting different data values for different attributes? You want to use this one, right? And I would say the most interesting one is actually this gap analysis, which is really saying, hey, show me anytime, you know, from a different source that something is being reported while, you know, you know, my other source are not reporting it. And then to just to rephrase that, right? So imagine like you want to understand, hey, show me all the CIs that, you know, I want to see that are servers, but I want to have an agent reporting on it. And I'm realizing, hey, there's not an agent installed on it, right? Or show me anytime, like, you know, things in the CMDB that I don't have, you know, service not discovery reporting on it, right? So as you can imagine, those are really, really interesting things to understand, to manage from a, you know, CI perspective, but just overall operational perspective as well, right? That was really not easy to do before. So now it's simple as, you know, I click this, and now I can choose a class, any chat class I want. And in this case, I'm just going to choose uh, server because, again, that's a pretty important class, right? I press continue. And in this screen, what it's sort of really showing is that, you know, show me, you know, first thing is like any source that's not reporting on something, right? I just pick Alturus in this case, right? Say, hey, show me anything in the CMDB that's coming through IRE that's not reported by Alturus, right? I could have just done a mismatch analysis, you know, between a single source to another. In this case, I'm just looking at all of it, right? And then here I can sort of look at, you know, all of the CI records by discovery source, right? Or just look at unique CIs, right? That may be missing, you know, from a particular source. In this case, I'm going to do discovery source because I want to say, hey, for these things, who is reporting it and why is Alteris not reporting this exact value, right? I can save that, right? And here I'll just call it, you know, not reporting server, right? And I can save and run. And what I get here is like, you know, all the CIs from which source was reported, right? But was not reported by Alteris. Why? I don't know, but that's something, you know, customers can really kind of deem that value from and understand why is it not reporting. Right. And again, as you can see, you know, we're going to continue to invest on this, right? This is really a, a store-based application. So the next release, we'll be able to sort of create reports out of this, hopefully, and just make, right, your own, you know, graphical burn down charts, right? We just click of a button, right? And again, we'll continue to enhance, but I wanted to just show you the demo so you're all aware of, uh, of what this is. So moving on uh, to kind of the, the, the slide deck, right? So one of the things I want to just, uh, you know, harp upon is like, this is... There are definitely a bunch of competitors in this space, right? They're sort of selling this as something, you know, customers cannot get from service now, right? But what we want to just be able to tell customers that, hey, CMDB 360, you know, allows customers really leverage existing, you know, uh, platform value and whatever sources they add, however they use this, it, it really accrues to your ITSM, ITAM, you know, SecOps use cases, number one point. 
Second, getting started is as easy as just literally turning on multi-source capabilities, right? Or CMDB 360 capabilities, right? It really doesn't take a lot. It does not require you change ACC, discovery, service graph connector, or for that matter, anything you've built using IHETL, right? Third is that we have capabilities to not just do this with you know, basic CI asset you know, records, but we also have capabilities to just understand sort of even different software being reported, right? In the future, it's gonna be enhanced with even other types of data sets. So again, this is clearly you know, more than anybody else can provide today in the market. Uh, so one of the biggest FUDs you probably hear in the market is really that, hey, you know, we don't have as many sources, right, as some of our competitors. And that's absolutely true. Some of these other integrations have, you know, hundreds of uh, sources, but the key thing to make sure, you know, we can articulate is that given that this actually works with discovery, ACC, right, as well as sort of the, the service graph connections we have, we should be easily be able to, you know, com complete at least 90% you know, plus of any customer in terms of the real sources they're using, right? And finally, you can sort of leverage IHETL and build your own integration for these custom sources as well. So the reality is that our data source should never be a hindrance because again, we're pretty much already there with the sources we have, right? And the final two things is, you know, is that, you know, we have the capabilities to sort of provide some of these out of box, you know, like value, right? We can leverage a lot of things on the in service now platform that nobody else can do. And finally, we've already had customers running this with 100 million records and more, right? So this is already proven to be at scale. And I don't think any other competitors in the market can really say the same. Uh, as always, if there's any questions, please feel to reach out, right? And again, we'll continue to do more demos as we get, you know, kind of some of the enhancements coming in in, in, in Q1 of 23.